It is about that time, right? Summer vacation season means, yeah, the gas prices go up. This year, the prices could go up even more or there could be a shorter supply. And why? Because of a, not a gas shortage, a trucker shortage. During COVID, people didn't drive as much. The demand for deliveries went down, the drivers lost their jobs, and now? So what we really need is more people coming in. You only have so many so many um, drivers that are equipped and qualified to deliver loads. So those poor guys are working extra days and you know, just you're putting more and more of a demand on these guys. Well, the experts at Gas Buddy say you're probably not going to see your gas stations in your neighborhood have supply problems, but you might while you're on vacation. There's plenty of gasoline that's being produced. Uh, it's simply going to be a logistics issue. I would think that the areas that are maybe uh, not as well prepared are going to be those areas where tourists are flocking to this summer, whether that be, say, like Orlando, Florida, uh, state parks, national parks, Las Vegas has already seen some of these issues where uh, it's difficult to replenish stations. Uh, tourist destinations are the most likely areas. I immediately thought of our beaches, right? Patrick from Gas Buddy says here at home, though in our neighborhoods, we're not expecting near record prices either, but you will have to open up your wallet a little more than you did last summer. Now, if your summer travel plans take you out of state, right? Here's North Carolina, you got the states all the way around. Well, you'll want to search Gas Buddy to see if the prices are higher or lower when you get near the state line. Gas prices in every state vary. And so when you cross those state lines, you may be leaving behind the cheaper gas or the cheaper gas may be ahead of you. By the way, I checked for you today's lowest gas price in Greensboro. That's 237. The average, though, is 265. That's a big difference.